Hi, I'm here to talk about basalt volcanic rock fibers and the products we make from this rock. Here's a piece of it. Rock looks like a lot of others, but it's very special in that it can be melted and pulled through platinum rhodium bushings, little orifices, that when that melt at high temperatures, the rock is melted and pulled through these bushings, it, it ends up pulling into these little fiber filaments. From these fibers, we can make all kinds of things. Uh, we're gonna start with, in this first video, reinforcements for concrete. We actually make rebars, it's like steel rebar, only over 70% lighter, two to three times stronger in tension, and it'll never corrode. The strength of this rebar, and it's incredibly strong and it's got a memory, it wants to come back to straight, as you can see. I see it snaps back. If you bent a piece of steel like that, to that angle, your steel would stay like that. Basalt wants to come back to straight. Um, I think in the seismic application, when the building is rocking, I want my building to come back up to straight. Steel is really good to begin with, and but it goes up. It's really strong in that ductility up to a point, and then it flattens out just like that, and it doesn't come back. Um, we make all coils of this up to half an inch, 12 millimeter, 328 feet long, 100 meters. All different diameters of it. It can be very thin, three millimeter, flexible, or it can be incredibly thick, over an inch, three quarters of an inch, seven eighths, up to a couple inches in diameter. Again, over 70% lighter, about two to three times stronger than steel in tension in the concrete, and it'll never corrode. The salt can be placed close to the surface. Steel needs by code two or three inches of concrete above it to stop it from corroding. Not with basalt. So many times this can be right where close to the surface, even a quarter inch away, where your structural forces are most needed. Um, so you can save a lot of concrete many times just because you don't need that two or three inches on top uh, to protect the basalt rebar. It's also made into meshes. We have different kinds of sizes of quarter inch, half inch, one inch, or two inch mesh. This replaces a lot of your chicken wire type mesh, welded wire mesh that you put into your concrete pours. And again, stronger than steel, but never corroding. Basalt is non-conductive, it's UV immune, it doesn't harbor bacterial or microbial growth, uh, it is non-conductive, it doesn't burn. You can take a torch and light the basalt filaments and they won't ignite. There's all sizes of rebar is made for wall ties, uh, any kind of reinforcements, Dome people are put, coating the tops of domes with our meshes. It's very pliable and flexible. Can be cut and overlapped to make whatever kind of angles you want. Flooring systems, wall systems, compressed earth block, uh, straw bales, anything, putting it on the scratch coat and then embedding our mesh into the first coat and then putting a finish coat on top of that will make it uh, non-spalling, non-cracking, and help it stop the concrete or stucco plaster from shrinking. 